Arrange for a job interview. After you have graduated and complete the first two steps in the process of securing employment, you are ready. The next step is to contact establishments that you are most interested in by sending them a resume and requesting an interview. Check salon websites. Many salons have websites with special employment areas. Others post on salon or job related websites. Follow instructions exactly for filling out forms or sending resumes. Some salons don't want attachments, such as letters of recommendation or digital portfolios sent with resumes. In rare instances, you may need to send a resume and cover letter by traditional mail. Follow up via phone or email. Mark your calendar to remind yourself to make a follow-up contact. A week after submitting your resume is generally sufficient. When you call or email, try to schedule an interview appointment. Keep in mind that some salons may not have openings and may not be granting interviews. If the salon does not have an opening, send a resume. If you have not already, and ask the salon to keep it on file should an opening arise in the future. Be sure to thank your contacts for their time and consideration. Interview preparation. You wanna make sure that you have your identification in the forms of social security number, driver's license number, names, mailing addresses, email addresses, and phone numbers of former employers, name, phone number, and email address of the nearest relative not living with you. Your interview wardrobe. Your appearance is crucial, especially since you're applying for a position in the image and beauty industry. It is recommended that you obtain one or two interview outfits. You may be requested to return for a second interview, hence the need for a second outfit. Is the outfit appropriate for the position? Is it both fashionable and flattering? Is it similar to what the salon's current stylists wear? Are your accessories fashionable and functional? For example, not noisy or so large that they would interfere with performing services. Are your nails well groomed? Is your hairstyle current? Does it flatter your face and overall style? Is your makeup current? Does it flatter your face and overall style? Are you clean shaven? Is your perfume or cologne subtle? Are you carrying either a handbag or briefcase? Don't carry both. Neither should be cluttered or dirty. Your supporting materials that you want to have with you are your resume, even if you've already sent one. Take another copy so it will be readily available. Facts and figures. Have ready a list of names and dates of former employment, education, and references. Your employment portfolio. Even if you have just two photos in your portfolio and they are pictures of hair color and styles you did for friends, bring them along. Review and prepare for anticipated interview questions. Why do you want to work here? What did you like best about your training? Are you punctual and regular in attendance? Will your school director or instructor confirm this? What skills do you feel are your strongest? In which areas do you consider yourself to be less strong? Have answers prepared for all of these questions as they are extremely common for most interviews. More questions. Are you a team player? And please explain. Do you consider yourself flexible? Please explain. What are your career goals? What days and hours are you available for work? Are there any obstacles that would prevent you from keeping your commitment to full-time employment? Please explain. What assets do you believe you would bring to the salon in this position? Be honest. You want to make sure that you're happy with your job and that they're happy with you. What computer skills do you have? How would you handle a problem client? 
how do you feel about retailing? Would you be willing to attend our company's training program? Would you please describe ways that you provide excellent customer service? What consultation questions might you ask a client? Are you prepared to train for a year before you have your own clients? What consultation questions might you ask? Are really important and being prepared to train for a year before you have your own clients is also really important. Be prepared to perform a service at your interview. Confirm if this is a requirement. If so, make sure the model is appropriately dressed and prepared. Take the necessary products and supplies unless they direct you otherwise. For the interview, always be on time or better yet early. If you're unsure of the location, find it the day before so there will be no reason for delays. Employers want prompt employees. Turn off your cell phone. Do not arrive with earbuds or hands-free call in your device in your ear. Project a warm, friendly smile. Smiling is the universal language. They want to know that you're going to be friendly with their clients. Walk, sit, and stand with good posture. Be polite and courteous. Do not sit until you are asked to do so or it is obvious that you are expected to do so. Never smoke or chew gum, even if one or the other is offered to you. Do not come to an interview with a cup of coffee, soft drinks, snacks, or anything else to eat or drink. Never lean or touch the interviewer's desk. Some people do not like their personal space broached without invitation. Try to project a positive first impression by appearing as confident and relaxed as you can be. Speak clearly. The interviewer must be able to hear and understand you. Answer questions honestly. Think about the question and answer carefully. Do not speak before you are ready and not for more than two minutes at a time. Never criticize former employers. Always remember to thank the interview at the end of the interview. Questions to ask the interviewer during your interview. Employers are looking that you care about the job and that you wanna make sure that this is a good fit for you. So here are some questions. What are you looking for in a stylist? Is there a job description? May I review it? Is there a salon manual? May I re review that? How does the salon promote itself? How long do stylists typically work here? Are employees encouraged to grow in skills and responsibility, and how so? Does the salon offer continuing education opportunities? What does your training program involve? Is there room for advancement? If so, what are the requirements for that? What key benefits does the salon offer, such as advanced training and medical insurance? What outside community activities is the salon involved in? What is the form of compensation? When will the position be filled? May I contact you in a week regarding your decision? May I have a tour of the salon? Do not feel you have to ask all of these questions. Create as much dialogue as possible. Legal aspects of the employment interview. There are some questions that may not be included in an employment application or interview. Age or date of birth. It is permissible to ask of the applicant under the age of 18. Disabilities or physical traits. ADA or Americans with Disabilities Act prohibits inquiries about health problems, disabilities, and medical conditions. Drug use or smoking. These questions are permitted. The employer may obtain your agreement to be bound by the employer's drug and smoking policies and submit to a drug test. Citizenship. Employers are not allowed to discriminate because an applicant is not a U.S. citizen. However, employers can request to see a green card or work permit.
employers can legally require you to sign contracts as a condition of employment. In the salon business, the most common ones are non-complete and non-compete and confidentiality agreements. Non-compete agreements prohibit you from seeking employment within a given time period and geographic area after you leave employment with them. A contract cannot interfere with your right to work. As a result, these contracts, contracts must be very specific and are sometimes controversial. If you're presented with any contract, take it home, read it, and make certain you completely understand it. If you do not completely understand any part of it, consult with a labor law attorney before signing it. Anytime that you are applying for any position, you will be required to complete an application, even if your resume already contains much of the requested information. Use your resume and the list you have prepared prior to the interview in assisting you in completing the application quickly and accurately. Doing it right, take it one step at a time. Be sure to take the helpful preliminary steps that we have discussed when preparing for employment. Develop a dynamic portfolio. Keep your materials, information, and questions organized in order to ensure a high impact interview. Learn all that you can about your new position and the establishment you will be serving. Read all you can about the industry. Attend trade shows and take advantage of as much continuing education as you can. Become an active participant in efforts to make the cosmetology industry even better. See chapter 31 on the job to learn some great strategies for ensuring your career success. Visit the MiladyPro.com website. In addition to helping you prepare for your state board exam, MiladyPro.com offers access to materials designed to help you hit the ground running and grow your skill set, assuring long-term success no matter where you may take your career. Summary and review. Complete an inventory of your own personal characteristics and skills, abilities, in order to establish the type of salon you are best suited for. You can seek a wide variety of salons and will likely be able to choose the one you like best rather than taking the first job that is offered. It's important that you are totally prepared for the job interview in dress and attitude. You must have prepared documents to aid you in the interview process, a resume that sizzles, a list of pertinent facts, as well as your well-prepared dynamic employment portfolio. Once you obtain that long-awaited position, learn everything you can about the company and your duties. Continue to grow and learn. Completion of your training is not an ending, but a beginning. Become a lifelong learner and make a positive contribution to the wonderful industry you have chosen. Chapter review questions. What habits and characteristics do test wives, wise students have? What is deductive reasoning? What are the four most common testing formats? List and describe the different types of salon businesses available to cosmetologists. These will be posted on your Blackboard and will be turned in. Further chapter review questions. What is a resume? What is an employment portfolio? List the items that should be included in your employment portfolio. What are some questions that you should never be asked when interviewing?